We are one month away from the fifth anniversary of one October and ideas of a permanent memorial are taking shape. Submissions are coming in on what it may look like and reporter Jeremy Chen shows you one artist's idea and why getting a memorial concept is taking time. The festival grounds where one October happened is considered by many survivors to be hello grounds and also will be the site of a permanent memorial, which right now is currently a parking lot and ideas are pouring in as far as what this proposed memorial will look like. There were a lot of people involved, a lot of heroes, a lot of people that were affected and we're Vegas strong together. That's the vision artist Nancy Erskine of Pahrump has for her design of a permanent 1 October memorial. Her family had a brush with tragedy with her son declining, an invitation that night to the Route 91 Music Festival with a friend. The person replacing him was killed. So that strongly impacted our family. Her concept involving tributes to victims, survivors, and first responders who stepped in to help. A notable feature being two sun sculptures containing 29 rays each where the names of the 58 people killed that night will be remembered. That basically says there's still hope, but we are honoring these people. Erskine was one of several dozen artists submitting concepts for a permanent memorial on the site of the festival grounds. MGM Resorts donating two acres in the northeast corner last year. Daniel Pereira, chairman of the 1 October Memorial Committee, says the submissions being considered have a high bar to clear. We didn't want our memorial to just be about the tragedy. We wanted our memorial to also kind of encompass some of the healing process. She explains the memorial process still ongoing now five years after the tragedy was always going to take time. The committee collecting thousands of survey responses and now taking artistic submissions all to carefully ensure survivors and the community could agree on one design concept. It gives the community an opportunity to heal and it gives us the opportunity to capture some of that healing uh, in the memorial and kind of, you know, show the strength. Strength, Erskine says, motivated her to put time and effort in her submission. It was on my heart to, to be able to try to contribute something and whether they take it or not, I feel like I've, I've given an offer to, it, it helped me heal and would bring some peace to some other people too at the same time. The deadline for submissions will be October 31st. Reporting near the Strip, I'm Jeremy Chen.